music portfolio will have a lot of failures. <laughs> and I'm totally realistic about that, nor am I embarrassed to tell you. Um, now, uh, I, I don't know how I'm going to show you the list. I mean, uh, I can remember all the names. Um, but I'll tell you that I myself have um, extricated myself from pretty much all the internet stuff now. And, and over the last seven or eight years, I have groomed a couple of guys in Shanghai. These are native mainlanders, never studied abroad, got their MBAs, you know, from seats, and fantastic minds. And uh, now they have taken over all that, 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 that internet uh, and, and media portfolio, and I'm totally comfortable handing it over to them. So what have I done? I have instead, you know, for the last four years, refocused myself in biotechnology. And I think what is happening in biotechnology now is a major, major revolution worldwide that is going on. Uh, the model of doing biotech is, is a broken model, or the way that is that, that is done in, in, in the Western world is a totally broken model. In, in, in one sentence, the way that model works is you spend, you know, $30 million, you know, sort of to get to the point, you know, that, that you know whether it's a go or no go. If, if it's a no go, you've lost everything. If it's a go, then you uh, get the license to spend another 50 to 100 million dollars. <laughs> and, and the probability of every drug, you know, of, that, of drugs that go into clinical trial is that one out of 10, you know, will, be, will succeed. So the odds are terrible. And that cost structure makes it extremely, you know, uh, onerous, you know, for people to invest in biotech. So, uh, I used to do biotech in, in the States, and then, then I stopped doing it because I thought the odds is just, the model just didn't work. And then four years ago, I started, you know, to see, boy, for the first time, I've seen an alternative. And that is to take the science from America and to use the low-cost development capacity in China. And one must, you know, in that um, uh, scenarios, distinguish what is science from what is drug development. You know, science, yes, there's a lot of brilliance required, a lot of, you know, uh, genius and all that, but drug development is a very process-driven uh, endeavor. You do what the FDA tells you to do, <laughs> and not more. <laughs> and, 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 and so, you know, it really is, is uh, quite ideal. This was not possible previously because China simply didn't have, you know, the talents, you know, uh, people with the training to do that. But now all of that is coming together. And, and so until in the last four years, I've, to, to this, to, uh, up to now, I, I'm probably 90% um, focused on biotechnology. And as much as possible, I practice this model of sourcing the science from the Western world, using the development capacity in China, get to human data as quickly as possible, and that is a real value creation step. <laughs>